Good morning. Good morning. I'm Crystal. And I'm Steve. Today we are working on our chicken coop again. I'm going to be painting the inside of the coop. Halfway up, maybe more on this side because this is the side that the roosting bars are going to be. So I might go even higher. I might go all the way to the top. Just painting the wood inside to help it last longer. Yes. So I have to change my clothes because <laughs> I need my paint clothes. I'm just going to be uh, cutting a lot of plywood. So the goal, getting as much done as we can. <laughs> all right. Let's get started. Let's do it. I was looking in my basement for what paint that we had that I could use on the inside of the coop. I have this Valspar Storm Coat. From what I remember, it was kind of pricey. I bought it to start cleaning up the trim on my house and I'm gonna be using it on the trim of the chicken coop. Then I also found interior satin finish. I'm gonna go with this, because this is what we have. And I'm just gonna use this on all these boards that are gonna be on the inside of the coop that the chickens are gonna have access to. Now I'm going to be painting the dividers for inside the nesting boxes. You're not gonna talk? <sighs> I'm looking my best. So, what did I do today? Thanks for asking. Today, I finished up painting all of the inside of the poop area. Just the framing portion. That way when we put the walls up, I don't have to crawl inside to do it. The great thing about this coop that I realized today is that I can stand up inside the coop. Whenever we clean it out and stuff, I can actually come in here and do stuff, which is really nice. I'm happy that I chose to use that old can of interior satin finish paint because when I took the lid off, it was completely rusty on the inside and it wouldn't have been usable inside my house. So it works perfect for this. And there's enough gloss to it that we'll be able to wash it down and wipe it down when we need to. Steve is busy 
working on something over there. We worked on cutting a lot of the panels for the walls today. Tomorrow I will paint those before they go up and we have the windows cut too for them. We will show you those in the next video, the windows that we got. I painted the inside of the nesting boxes too and I really like the linoleum, really easy to clean. I think we're going to do a little bit of silicone around the edges just to prevent any kind of moisture from getting underneath it. I think it's gonna work out really good. So that is it. I got paint all over my clothes. That's okay. These, this is my painting shirt and my painting and staining pants. <laughs> I added to the design. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I'm excited. We made a lot of progress today. Anything else I should add? Oh yeah, the perch. He made a little perch for the chickies in their brooder area because they're jumping up on, on top of the heater. They're already starting to scratch around. They're only four days old or so, so they're so funny. But we made uh, this little perch for them from some scrap. Isn't that neat? So we'll put that in and see how they like it. But that is it for this coop video. Thank you so very much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.